Hey guys, welcome to CR Entity Chetan here, and we will make the simple hard surface model. So add a cylinder and then delete these faces like this. Then use the annotation to draw a curve on one side of the cylinder. We will use the knife tool to make that cut. So select the knife tool and then use it. Just select these uh, different points and just follow that annotation and then press enter to confirm that cut then you can delete that annotation and then select these words to make them to give the proper position for these words Then select these faces and then delete these faces. Now you can delete this part, one side part. We will use a symmetrize option or mirror modifier. Just delete this edge also. And now we will add the loop cuts. To maintain the shape of the geometry, so just add a loop cuts like this. And then select these words and then connect vertex path. Select this word, right click and then connect, connect vertex path. Then I will add one cut like this. So take a knife tool and add a simple cut. So you can add the either straight cut or curve cut. Here I am adding the straight cut because that will be more easier. So just add a straight cut like this, slant cut, and then select these faces and then delete these faces or like this. Then we will create the Cordwish topology here. So just delete these words also and then delete this edge. Then use the knife tool and then add a cut like this. So you can see we have easily created this Cordwish topology. Then add a few loop cuts here. Then use the scale tool to make them straight. So press S, then press Z, and then press 0 to make it straight along the Z axis. Then take your knife tool and we will add a little bit of cut right here. So select the points, select your next point and then press enter to use the knife tool. Then select these words and then right click and then connect vertex path. So now you can delete these words. And just move these words a little bit down. Then add a sub surface modifier. So I have added the sub D modifier here. We will add more details so for those details you need a good topology on your mesh so 
just make sure your curve should be proper okay and then you can apply that sub D modifier level should be one of your modifier and then apply that sub D modifier then so just select these faces and make sure you should select these faces in a square form so that's why I have added the loop cuts and I try to maintain the quads it's like a squares squares on all over the geometry and then use the loop tool and then insert this face as simple so you can see I have created this boolean and after that I have deleted that faces then add a mirror modifier or you can use the symmetry option also so I have added that mirror modifier and choose the proper axis and make sure we have applied that sub D modifier that's why we are facing a little bit of difficulty with the mirror modifier then select everything and then use the symmetrize option choose the proper axis and now we need to merge the words at the center so select these words and merge at the center select this word press M and then merge at the center So after adding the, adding the solidify modifier, so you need to select everything, select all, press A for that and then just here adjust the proper shape of your words, proper position of your words, then select everything, press A for that and then press I to insert the spaces. So you can see I have created a proper border all around the our curves cuts which will help to maintain the geometry and now you can delete the unnecessary edges then you can turn on that solidify modifier and then you can add sub D modifier means subdivision surface modifier then give the thickness for your solidify modifier and that's look pretty well then you can apply that solidify modifier to select faces like this you can press a shift to select them and then press i to insert and then use extrude along the normals and extrude inside give the proper offset amount Choose the symmetrize option to get the same shape, same design on another side and you can see our mesh looks pretty well. So we have created a decent shape here. 